It's snowing out. So nobody's at the range. Except 10th Mountain. At 15 feet, imminent threat, move and engage. If there's a lethal threat at 15 feet, you don't want to be standing still. On a timer, two rounds, center mass. <laughs> 181, so 160 first shot, that's slow. Engage, two rounds, center mass. On the timer. First shot was a 143. Split was a 20. Gives you 163. Two rounds, center mass. Moving to the right. This guy's coming at you. He's coming at you. He's coming at you. So 147 total times, quicker draw at 126, 21 split. It's a subcompact, this is an XDS. Split times are never great with a subcompact, especially in 45. But you gotta try and get them as tight as you can. Next situation is that you've got a little bit of advanced warning, okay? This guy obviously, he's a threat, something's going on, you don't like it. You have an opportunity to index your firearm in advance of actually having to draw, okay? Uh, this is ideal. Obviously, you're going to want to index your your firearm. My draws were about a second and a half, okay? If I was carrying it, you know, appendix carry, they're faster than that. If it was a little bit bigger gun, it's faster than that. But with a heavy coat on that I have to clear and draw, second and a half, you know, is, is, is you know, pretty typical. But I can speed that up a lot if I can only index the firearm in advance. So if I have a chance to kind of discreetly sort of get back there, you know what I mean, in case things turn sour, then it cuts things down quite a bit. So, same distance on the timer. One twenty-four. First shot was a second. It was a one oh two. First shot. Twenty-two split. Again, on the timer. That was a total of 94. 16 split, 78 first shot. One more time, on the timer, index the firearm in advance. So 96, first shot was a 65. 17 split. Okay, this is a situation where the guy's on you, okay, right on top of you. You're not going to get a clean draw if, you draw if you're in the middle of a wrestling match, I promise you. Anybody that's done any force-on-force force training at all with, that involves concealed carry will tell you the same thing. You will not get your gun out of your holster clean if you're fighting somebody off. You have to create distance in order to get a clean draw. If things turn deadly, you've got to get away so you can regain a tactical advantage and get to your firearm cleanly and use it if you have to. So, an, one individual strike and stepping away and creating a little bit of distance is important. Don't leave your hand out there after striking. Uh, that gives somebody to grab on, something to grab onto, and now you're, again, getting, getting whipped around. Anybody that you're about to shoot is probably formidable enough to put up a pretty good fight. So, create distance and do that with a good clean strike and then get away so you can get your gun ready, okay? We'll go on the timer. If I'm a little slow today, it's because of all this crap. There's my excuse. On the timer, strike, step away, two rounds, center mass, from conceal. <laughs> Total time was a 140. Split was a 15. Do that again. If you're shooting 45, you'll probably blow some whole big holes in your paper and knock it down. It's on you. Right on top of you.
134, first shot was a 116. On the timer, strike, step back, two rounds, center mass. Listen, man, I don't, I don't want to get up. A 105 first shot, 123 total, 18 split. Okay, the next situation is that you're actually, you don't have the advantage, okay? You're getting hit, you're getting beat on, somebody's hurting you, okay? You need to get to your firearm, all right? If this is the situation, firearm retention is of the utmost importance. Nothing is more important than this. I'm going to move the camera. <clears throat> You cannot lose your firearm, okay? You do that, you're gonna get killed with it, all right? So, if you have to take a crouch position for any reason, try to protect your head as you index your firearm. From a crouch position, without having indexed my firearm, two rounds center mass from a center axis relock. I want two hands on this thing. Once I've got the gun drawn, my priority is hang on to the gun. Make sure it stays mine, okay? It's a 157, first shot was a 135. Again. First shot was a 130, so 169 total time. Okay? Notice I've got two hands on the gun, counter tension. If somebody comes and rips on this, it's staying in my hands. Even with a subcompact like this where I don't have as much of a grip. Center axis relock. I'm not going to do a video on it. Go research it if you don't know what it is. Okay, the last situation <clears throat> that I want to go through is you've had the opportunity to draw your firearm and aim it at the target. Okay, this is already a lethal situation. You're doing everything in your power not to actually have to squeeze the trigger. You're giving this person commands, you're trying to stop it from becoming lethal, okay? So you're already on target and you're ready to go. If this person becomes an immediate lethal threat to you, you have to take action. So from the, from the most ready position you can possibly be, which is already aiming at the target, that's presenting a threat to you, uh, that's, that's when you want to have your reaction time as good as it can be. If uh, a gun comes up, uh, something like that, you need to be able to react to that, okay? So, on the target. <clears throat> Four rounds in a second. <clears throat> That's the idea, okay? Do all these. Try all these. Uh, every one of these situations is, is realistic. You see a lot of people... Uh, Come up with a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different ways of doing a lot of different things when it comes to uh, concealed carry drills. But I think these are all really good ones. I think they have good practical application. Uh, always be safe. Don't jump into this stuff if you haven't really spent a lot of time with the fundamentals. Uh, and as you progress, do it slowly. Uh, do everything. Start off with all this stuff at a very, very slow, reasonable pace. Coming up, draw, squeeze the trigger. Get comfortable with that kind of stuff. Um, you know, once you're comfortable, once you're comfortable uh, doing doing uh, these kinds of movements and everything consistently, then you can start to pick up the pace a little bit. Okay, enjoy, be safe, stay alive.